All right, guys, Mr. G here with a special cross-out update. I don't know why, but they have given me the keys to the kingdom, guys. Mr. G has finally gotten access to the test server. My good man at Steven uh, hooked me up uh, with test server access. So we're going to toy around this episode with the Skinner. Now, due to the fact that I wanted to get this video out as fast as possible, we've banged out four very bare bones builds and we're going to go ahead and test drive those. So what can I tell you about the Skinner right now? Um, it only has an energy drain of three um, only. Well, you might think that's quite a bit. It is a purple, so it's a epic weapon. And we're going to go ahead and use it to attach to some stuff and try and blow some stuff up. So let's go ahead and put that on weapon group two. And let us test drive this thing out. So we've gone ahead and we've made a really heavy chassis with this thing because weight now becomes a much bigger deal when you are harpooning your opponent. So you can see the range is limited. If you're not close enough, it's not going to attach. You've got a reticle. When the reticle becomes white, all of a sudden, you can now tow your friends. You want to unhook, right click, and you're done. Also, as a player, you're probably thinking, all right, uh, my teammates can shoot me with this thing. Yes, um, you can detach that at any time as the player. If it's something that's bugging you, you can get rid of that. All right, so let's go ahead and torch some stuff. We got some customized fire bugs here. You can see with the new update, the flames seem to have maybe a little bit more range uh, than they used to. Let's go ahead and spawn some bots and see what kind of shenanigans uh, we can get up to. Can Mr. G actually hit any of these little guys with a harpoon, the skinner, and blow them up? We're going to test this thing out on hover uh, with a harvester and with porcupines. Those just were the first builds that came to my head that would, you know, do really good at close range. So we got to wait for the reticle to turn white and nail this guy. No escape. I wish there was some way to like reel it in, but the only command that I've got figured out right now is detach. So there might be a way to like progressively reel this in. But as it stands right now, this, I mean, it's more effective than the spark as far as just trapping an opponent. Boom. You're not escaping today, friendo. Oh my god, even Mr. G can make hits with this thing. So there we go. There's Harpoon with Firebug. Let's try with Mines. So I've never actually used uh, Porcupines before. We, <laughs> we just got access to these on the promo account and I was super excited. So we were like, let's try these out. They are a Relic class weapon. The only relic I have right now is scorpions on my promo. So let's let's roll some barrels. Eh, range is pretty limited, but the flame damage and the area of effect damage is pretty good. Although you've got the randomness of where they're gonna go. Let's try this out with harpoon. Yeah, you probably don't need a build as gigantic as this, but. For the sake of testing purposes, that's what I'm showing you guys today. Can we harpoon this guy? Oh! The turrets uh, have 360 degree rotation, which is nice. Look at that. We can, can we hit him? No, he's out of range. So we gotta wait for that second white circle. And then we can nail these guys. Come here. Get over here, you little tiny. Where are you, bot? Can we get him from behind? Get over here. Uh, I've got a lighter build for you guys, so don't panic. So we're going to wait till we get that lock. And then they're as good as trap. Boom. Done. Gosh, this is this is going to mess up gameplay, but I think it's going to add a lot of interesting builds coming down the pipe. Let's try it out with Harvester. Let's see what we can do with just a Harvester and a Growl Cabin. Let's see what we can do. Oh, get over here. Oh, okay, that's going to be a problem. Because if we can't hit him from behind, we got to make sure that we're lined up. There we go. 
There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this is gonna this is gonna make people that like melee have a good day. Look at this. Look at this. Get in here. Oh, it detached because that as soon as the part comes off that you're attached to, um, you're gonna detach from this guy. So it's a little trickier than flames or porcupine, but you can detach and you gotta wait for the weapon to reload. It's, you know, it's a few seconds. It's not super long. But there you go. We've trapped this guy. And as we drive towards him, it's like it reels it in. Um, so it limits the range and then boom. Boom, they're done. Uh, your harvester just became way, way more effective. And then lastly, just for fun, I don't know, I don't even have weapons on this. I just wanted to see what can you do with hover? I mean, what's going to happen if you hover onto somebody with hover? I mean, can we anchor him down? Uh, and can we can we harpoon terrain? Just let's just check. Uh, we can. In Look at that. So you can uh, anchor yourself uh, to terrain. Um, <laughs> Not sure what kind of gameplay elements that's going to entail, but certainly someone's going to figure it out. I mean, if you got really good, I suppose you could even use that to just maneuver really well. But, I mean, if you want to get a hover and stop bothering you, you just put one of these on a build. They're not going to be escaping you uh, if you can tag them with one of these. So, the Skinner... Uh, certainly going to change the way we play Cross Out. <laughs> Uh, I definitely enjoyed the Harpoon and the Mad Max game. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how this turns out in combat. I think it's going to be a niche thing. I don't think everyone's going to want to go this way. But I know everyone's going to want to give it a try when things first start out. So that has been Mr. G giving you the first look from me. I know there's a couple other folks that have got a little bit out on the Skinner, but this is just me rambling and testing it with some different builds. I think it's going to be highly effective on multiple different builds. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, shoot me your questions in the comments. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Sneak peek. Um, I've do good, you know, the test server does have a lot of parts that they're still working on for the new updates. Uh, I don't know how close they are to getting it out. I'm sure it's on the way though with the new event coming. Uh, I do my best to get you guys the newest stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, and throw us a sub, throw us a like. I will see you guys around on the channel. And you guys know how we end the show. We gotta get, we gotta, we gotta get out of the garage. Uh, join the Discord, you know, the link in the description and on the channel homepage. Show me what you're building, and I hope to see you guys on the round on the channel. That's it for today. Mr. G out.